हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू परसेटिस पॉलमोलॉजी बिफोर बिगनिंग ए वेरी हैप्पी न्यू टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड इन द फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ द न्यू ईयर वी आर प्रेजेंटिंग अवर फर्स्ट वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज रिगार्डिंग द अल्ट्रासाउन थोराइक्स एंड फाइव बेसिक साइंस विच ऑल द क्लिनिशियन शुड नो कुड इट बी इन द एमरजेंसी और कुड बिट इन द आई सी और कुड बी इन द नॉर्मल वार्ड सो दैट इट हेल्प्स इन द डे टू डे प्रैक्टिस ओके Uh, without wasting much time, let us go to the today's topic. Coming to the first sign on the ultrasound, see when you place a curvilinear probe on the chest wall perpendicular to the chest wall, you see this on the left hand side. You see this type of image on the ultrasound monitor. So, what does this picture represent? So you can see there are two hyperechoic lines. First line, and this is the second. Right. and just below that line we have something we have this third line correct so what does this indicate as i already mentioned here when you keep the probe perpendicular chest wall there are two ribs and between this there is an intercostal space so when you keep an ultrasound probe the ultrasound probe waves gets reflected by the rib and they appear as an hyperechoic line and when they pass through the intercostal space the parietal pleura reflects it so you get an another third hyperechoic line so the combination of the two rib and a parietal pleura forms a bat wing sign so why would you we call it as a bat wing because the the hyperechoic line or the white line which is formed by the rib it is pertaining to the wings of a bat these two wings and the pleural line is pertaining to the body or pleural line is pertaining to the body of a bat so we call it as a bat wing sign okay uh, this indicates a normal lung and uh, you can see when you place a curvilinear probe that is important see whenever you study a sign you need to know what when where do you see it and which probe is used and what are the conditions you see this okay come to the second sign that is a seashore sign another important sign it is seen in a normal lung parenchyma and when you turn the m mode on And remember when you turn the M mode on. Okay, uh, see there are two images: upper image and below image. Below image. See upper is the ultrasound image, below is the shore of a sea. So I added in parallel so that we can compare it. See, both image can be divided into two parts. Okay, you divide the image into two parts. See when you place a probe on the chest wall. you see this type of image so what does this image indicate this is your parietal pleura the hyperechoic or the white line and whatever is seen above here is your chest wall it could be your muscles subcutaneous tissue skin everything this is a parietal pleura and below is your lungs and when you turn on the m mode okay you see this second image you see this second image so what does this indicate see there again second image can be divided into two part okay the part from here to here indicates your this part part from here to indicate your body tissue and whatever is below this white line indicates your lung parenchyma okay so it is because your above part is static it indicates your body wall body wall does not move with respiration the below lung which moves with respiration forms your pattern of a shore okay forms your pattern of a shore so if you compare it with a sea shore see the above sand is static above sand is static it indicates your body wall and below the water keeps on coming and going the tide keeps on coming and going that is compared to the lung so it this is this forms an image such a granular type of image okay such forms a granular or sandy type of image so we call it as sea shore sand clear it is seen in the normal lung parenchyma when you turn on the m mode okay this is a normal lung parenchyma and this is a m mode and this is a comparison of a c shore sign okay clear coming to the barcode sign or the stratosphere sign same thing if the person is suffering from the pneumothorax and if you keep on the m mode okay remember if the person is suffering from the pneumothorax and you on the m mode you see something like this okay you see something like this 
compare it with the previous sign see the, this was a granular okay this was a granular image because the lung was moving in cases of pneumothorax in cases of pneumothorax the movement of lung parenchyma is restricted so it forms a straight line so it forms a straight line so we call it as a barcode sign so we call it as a barcode sign simple okay barcode sign see when you play seen when you place a linear probe on the chest wall in patients suffering from pneumothorax or it could be because of your previously uh, already if there is a pleurodesis done of a pleura or if there is an atelectasis or if there is a mainstream obstruction okay in such cases you see barcode or stratosphere sign also known as stratosphere sign okay clear coming to the fourth sign that is jellyfish sign see when the person has a pleural effusion the lung tends to collapse okay the lung tends to collapse and this collapsed lung is known as appears as a fin of a jellyfish it appears like a fin okay the part of a the tail end of a fish what you call as a fin it appears like that it appears like that and this all hypoechoic shadows which you are seeing here are suggestive of your pleural fluid are suggestive of your pleural fluid so jellyfish sign is all, uh, indication that uh, there is a pleural effusion and there is not much of exudative material into the pleural effusion okay it, it means it, there is not much of exudative material if there is a lot of exudative material you see a lot of granular type of pattern you see a lot of granular type of pattern but if there is a jellyfish sign and the hypoechoic shadows are clear it means that the there is not of much of exudation could be uh, mainly seen in transudative effusion but in some cases of early exudative effusion also can be can present with this jellyfish sign okay coming to the last sign that is the sinusoid sign it is also seen in cases of pleural effusion see we, uh, the sign is divided into two parts this is the upper part and this is the lower part see whenever you have an pleural effusion as we had in the jellyfish sign and when you turn the m mode on Okay, and when you turn the M mode on, and when you keep this pointer in the place of pleural effusion, you see this type of image. Okay, you see this type of image. This is known as sinusoid. Sinusoid is like a wave. This wave is created one when the visceral pleura goes towards your parietal pleura. Okay, remember parietal pleura is adherent to the chest wall. Visceral pleura is adherent to the lung. So when the lung, when the person inspires, when their lungs expand. so it goes towards your chest wall and it forms like a sign so this is the movement of your visceral pleura towards your parietal pleura this is the visceral pleura and the underlying lung this is your pleural effusion and this is your parietal pleura so whenever the visceral pleura tries to move towards the parietal pleura it gets it gets such a sign on a sinusoid sign meaning indicative of your pleural effusion remember seen in m mode okay today we studied m mode three important sign that is stratos that is a stratosphere sign seen in Pneumothorax, Schwitzer sign seen in normal lung, and sinusoid sign seen in pleural effusion. Okay, five important sign. Okay, if you are in, these are the five important sign. If you have any doubt, please leave it in the uh, comment box. Or if you want further clarification, or you want any other sign or any other particular CT sign or X-ray sign, I'll be coming with that video in the subsequent days. Okay. Uh, these all uh, images are taken from uh, from the book written by me, known as Bertschetti's Handbook of A to Z Clinical Radiological and Histopathological Histopathological Signs in Pulmonology. Okay, if you want to buy the book or get a book, the links are given in the description. It's available on the Amazon, Flipkart, Google, Kindle, everything. Okay, thank you, thank you all for your patience listening. Thank you. If you have any doubts, please please leave it in the message box. Thank you.